Hey everyone, Matt Basarsic today for five things you didn't know about King C. Gillette the man. Number one, King Gillette did not invent the safety razor. Everyone talks about him, oh, the inventor of the safety razor, King Cam Gillette. No, 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 no. The inventor of the safety razor, the hoe handle razor that you hold perpendicular to your face like a hoe in the garden were the Canfee brothers in 1885, New York. So what Gillette did was invent the disposable safety razor blade, the thin little wafer sheet of sheet metal that was sharpened at two sides that you could throw away and have to ask for another one. That's what Gillette invented. The perpetual customer, the razor and blade model, the disposable marketing, the printer and ink model, the cars in the service department, all these ways in which you have a loss leading product and then you actually have the profit center, uh, which was what is needed, the consumable. Number two, in 1903, the first year of production, Gillette Safety Razor Company only sold 51 razors. That's not a lot. I mean, I think in the first year of Rex, we sold a couple hundred uh, razors. So that's not very, very high, but it was also a $5 razor. A lot of the time, most razors were a buck or so. Uh, it came in at the premium price. A lot of people balked at it, but it also changed the way people bought things forever. There on after with disposable marketing, as we just mentioned. Number three, Gillette was utopian socialist, authored several books like this one and thought that we all should live in a giant city powered by Niagara Falls. Uh, a lot of thoughts and beliefs way out there in my opinion, but who am I, I don't know. A lot, a lot of people know that, that this guy who you know made a lot of money for a period of time uh, thought we should all be socialists. Kind of ironic, right? Number four, in 1932, Gillette, the man, died nearly penniless after losing most of his money from the Great Depression uh, depleting land values. He had a lot of investments in citrus um, and just kind of spent his money very poorly. He had like two or three Rolls Royce limousines, like to be carted around. He spent so many years kind of broke and trying to make it that when he finally got money, he didn't really know what to do with it and didn't spend it very wisely. Um, even his wife had to be put on company payroll after his death because the company felt it was so kind of distasteful to have their founder's widow be penniless in the poorhouse. So, kind of weird. And number five, the curse of Gillette. It seems as though any time the Gillette Corporation started to endorse a athlete or a you know, sports team, they suddenly didn't do very well. Anywhere from Tiger Woods to Dale Earnhardt Jr. to David Beckham, any time that Gillette got behind an athlete, uh, they started having issues in their personal life or their professional life, and it was kind of the downhill trend for that athlete. So there's a curse of Gillette. Many other people have also f had that fate, but um, who knows why? Uh, if you know more about f the King Gillette the man, any other things you want to add? What's number six? What's number seven? Please tell me in the comments below. And if you do leave a comment, you're interested in to win this, the official Razor Emporium Black and Blue t-shirt. Thank you for watching all things about King C.G. Let the Man. That's all I got. We'll see you next time at Razor Emporium for all things vintage shaving. Thanks, guys.